So now the one of the very important nerves that we're going to do, the facial nerve. This is the seventh cranial nerve and it's very important. It's the nerve that supplies the muscles of your face. So starting with, it has four nuclei. Mixed, two of them are mixed nuclei and the other two are the parasympathetic nuclei. The parasympathetic components, the par it's also a parasympathetic nerve, so yeah. And two components are the parasympathetic components. So, yeah. Now let's talk about the sensory component. The speci special sensory nucleus it also that it has is the tractus solitarius nucleus. Now the motor, motor component and in the motor nuclear no, component we have just one nucleus that's motor nucleus. Now let's talk about the parasympathetic nu component which has two nuclei. The lacrimatory nucleus and the superior salivatory nucleus. It's important that you know that all these four nuclei are present in the lateral aspect of pons. Now the next very important thing is the course of the facial nerve. And it starts with and, and that is it arises from the lateral aspect of pons where the nucleus lies, nuclei lies. Then it moves on to the internal acoustic meatus that's present in the petrous part of the temporal bone. It hits the medial wall of middle ear cavity. And runs to the posterior wall of the middle ear cavity. And then it descends down into the facial canal. Then it gives out three branches. So these three branches we're going to talk about are the greater the first one is the greater petrosal nerve, which is a branch of petrosal nerve. And then we have the nerve to stapedius. And the third we have is the corda tympani nerve. Okay, so due to the lack of space, we're going to continue it on the next page, but you can make your notes accordingly so that you can continue on the same page. So again that there are three branches. The first one is the greater petrosal nerve. The second is the nerve to stapedius. And the third is the cord and impani nerve.
the greater petrosal nerve have sympathetic the parasympathetic fibers the greater petrosal nerve has parasympathetic fibers from lacrimatory nucleus it will enter the middle cranial fossa and will unite with the deep petrosal nerve which is another branch of the petrosal nerve and then there will be a nerve to the pterygoid canal it will give out a nerve to the pterygoid canal that's it will turn into that and then there will be pterygo it will enter the pterygopalatine fossa and at the end it will go to the pterygopalatine ganglion Now let's talk about the cauda tympani nerve which will enter the middle ear cavity attaches to the medial aspect of tympanic membrane it leaves the middle ear cavity and then enters a infratemporal fossa infratemporal fossa it enters the infratemporal fossa unites with the lingual nerve then it goes out from the stylomastoid foramen and it gives out three branches The three branches are the the first one out of the three is the posterior auricular branch of occipitalis muscle. We said two occipitalis muscle. Anyways, the next is a branch to the posterior belly of digastric muscle. And then there is the branch to the stylohyoid muscle. it gave out these three branches and it moved forward then this cauda tympani nerve enters the parotid gland within which substance the parotid glands substance it gives out five branches that we're going to talk about those are the branches that supply the facial muscles most of us know about the which uh, about the branches so i can actually make a separate video about it as well anyways moving forward the first is the temporal nerve then the zygomatic nerve the buccal nerve the marginal mandibular nerve and the cervical nerve I really do want to do some extra things like I uh, you can we can do the petrosal nerves now so petrosal nerve let's do it right now so the petrosal nerve it has a relation it has a relation with the petrous part of the temporal bone it means that it's where it lies the first branch it has three branches the petrous petrous petrosal sorry the pet, pet, petrosal nerve has three branches the first is the greater petrosal nerve the greater petrosal nerve has sensory fibers first of all uh, the sensory fibers from the lacrimatory nucleus and 
and it is a branch of the facial nerve as we studied before. The second nerve, the second branch is the deep petrosal nerve and the deep petrosal nerve has sympathetic fibers. And the third is the lesser petrosal nerve which has which is a branch of the ninth cranial nerve and it has parasympathetic fibers. The lesser petrosal nerve goes to the auricular temporal nerve and then the parotid gland. Hope this video helps you and if it did please like share and subscribe um, don't share if you don't want to but do like do give it give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe thank you